Hello guys, welcome back. After the mysterious release of their model from Mistral AI last week, which by the way, I already created the video from where you can assess and what it is kind of things. But in this video, let's go and see what is the API they released after they released that model. Many things happened last week because Mistral AI has their API released. Google has their own models released. And also there are some other open source models released. Let's say because it's difficult to track because each and every day many models are being released. I will create the videos as I explore myself. That's my goal. I want to try new things and then create this video so that you guys also find it helpful. In this video, let's go uh, through Mistral AI's API with, with the API from um, Mistral AI. And then I will show you how you can do the same thing with Llama Index also because Using the framework helps you quickly switch between different LLMs. I hope that will be easier for you also. How to get started with this Mistral AI things, right? This is the web page. And by the way, all the relevant uh, links will be in the description of the video. You can check the description to get into different, uh, different places here. You can just go here and click this quick start. If you click here, it will take you to the documentations of Mistral AI, where there is the introduction platforms, open weight models, and self-deployment. Then there is also this API link and there is this platform. For this platform, you need to uh, have your, let's say, credit cards because this is where we get the API keys. And I will show you how you can get the API keys from this Mistral AI's website. But before that, let me just go to these documentations first. Here you can see this is the introduction. You can just go here and see what it is kind of things. But if you go inside this platform, and there is this client mode, right? What does the client mode mean is that you can use now the API as I said you before also. There are different things provided, Python, JavaScript, and call. You can use with the different things here. And there are, as I said, you in points also. And there are mainly three different models. And there is also the comparison between, okay, Mistral tiny, Mistral small, and Mistral medium. You can see here different scores being provided. And uh, this is the tiny. And this is a small and this is a medium. Just go through here and try different models which you want. And then there is also the guard railing. I will show you how it works. And the pricing and rate limit. You can see here there is some pricing being also said because this is not free because we are using the API. And you can even compare this with the OpenAI's um, API, API pricing also. I will just provide the link in the description. Go through this and just try it yourself or let's say investigate yourself which one you want to use. and what is the performance of each ones and the good part here is that they also have the open weight models meaning that they have provided the api from where we can use this model but also uh, we can you can deploy these models by yourself also but the good or the there's a good part is they have these open models being provided and that is in the hogging face platform you can go there and download but then the downside of this is that you need to have uh, minimum GPU RAM for inference for these models are quite high and not all of us can afford these things, right? You need to you need to either go with one one either you want to use the API and pay things or you can deploy this in your organizations or if you have GPU you can run locally uh, with, with the models and there is also the descriptions or say or let's say there is the documentation how you can do the self deployment also. I find this link from uh, Peter Gostev really interesting because they also provided the open weights, meaning that anyone can now uh, deploy this and provide the inference. As you can see, this is the comparison between different platforms. This is OpenAI GPT 3.5, how much it cost, uh, US dollar 1.5 per million tokens. And there is this Mistral, which I'm going to show you, it cost 1.3. But then you can see that the same Mistral 18 to 7B models cost quite less in other different platforms also. There are some implications and there are some caveats also. You can pause this uh, video and read this, but it's up to you which API you want to use. Now let's go to Google Colab and see how we can use the Mistral AI's uh, API. So here is, as I said, you console link. You can go there. Mistral pricing and OpenAI pricing is also provided here. First, you need to install, of course, the Mistral AI and Lava Index because we are going to use this. And watermark, I'm just using it so that it shows uh, what version of the models I'm using. Because many of you asked in my earlier videos, okay, what is the model you are using? Because it's working for you, but not working for us, right? Just for that, you know now that, okay, which particular version of the models I'm using here. 
and you need to provide the API keys as I said before. You need to go to this link here. After going through this, I already have one API key. I can just go here and delete this one or I can just go here and create new as it is shown here and I will delete this as it is copied here. I have already pasted the previous one. I showed you this meaning that I will delete this and that is gone. This one I have already uh, utilized here. I will not run this again, but you need to just replace the API key from there into this place. Then you are ready to go. Let's go with the Mistral AI's first platform first and then with the Llama Index, right? There are chat completions. If you have followed my previous videos and also if you have followed the Llama Index framework, how it works also, it is kind of similar, but then uh, OpenAI also has their own kind of uh, Python SDK things, right? Here also you can see that Mistral also has similar things. There is Mistral client and you can import the Mistral client and you can choose the models you want and this is the client messages and there is the no streaming and streaming kind of thing. So if you just run this, okay, what is the capital of Nepal? Then it is going to take the API keys and then you can see the response is quite fast. Now we don't even feel, okay, am I using OpenAI or Mistral because the answer is the same based on what I tried, but it depends upon the use case also. Many say that it's better than GPT 3.5, but it depends upon the use case you are using. So it says here the capital of city of Nepal is Kathmandu. It is this, this, this kind of things, right? And now if you want to have the streaming, you can just run this. It will stream uh, when it provides the answer. There is the embedding model that is being provided. And you can just use, okay, Mistral client. And here you can just say client.embeddings. And I'm saying here the capital city of Nepal is Kathmandu. I want to embed that, right? Let's see what is the size of embeddings because that's what we do in the embeddings. And if I go and print the size, it is 1024, right? And then if you want to see the first five, mm, the first five dimensions of this 1024, and it is shown here. This is how the embeddings work normally. And this is good also because they have also provided the embeddings and we can either use any of the openly available ones which are free, or if you want to go with Mistrust, then you need to pay something, but they have provided here. And there is the guard railing, as I said before also, you can click this and go to the link. But what it does is toggling safe mode will prepend your messages with the following system prompt. As you can see here, it says always assist with clear, respect and truth, respond utmost utility yet security, securely, avoid harmful, unethical, pre jost or negative content, ensure replies, prompt fairness and positivity. Whenever you ask something, this is going to be prepended in your messages. For example, here I said, what is the capital of Nepal. When I pass this safe mode equals to true, this message is going to be prepended in this message so that it will provide the, let's say, right answers and not the ones which is not mentioned here. You can just go here and print this. It will provide us the answer. Yeah, that's it. You can, you can just go here and play around. Okay, that's all the simple things from the open, from this is, as you can see here, I'm already saying open because I have been creating so many videos using OpenAI and now this is Mistral. There is the open things already, but it's not OpenAI, but OpenAI. But as you can see here, this is also we need to pay, but there is open weights also being provided. This is in a way good part. There, there are many models appearing and I'm seeing that in the future, similar to what we used to do this ensemble techniques in machine learning, we might even do maybe, let's say, uh, ensemble things from different models and then get the best answer out of it. But then it's not free, right? You need to, there is the, there is a, always a pros and cons of using different models. Yeah, we are living in a different world now where there were so many open models and now the big corporations like AWS, they have their own things. There is now Google, they have their own things. Azure is using OpenAI's Azure version and OpenAI has their own. Now there is Mistral and there are many others also, right? It kind of feels like confusing some sometimes, but then Sometimes it's good also that you can try different models because although it is like large language model, not all the models are trained in the same data, right? It depends upon what kind of use case you have. Some models might perform in those use cases like clearly or let's say better. So yeah, using the Llama index, now instead of uh, importing from the Mistral AI API, we are using from Llama index. As you can see, this is just imp importing the embeddings and, and it's just the same things, but now from the from the Lama index, right? This is how it is being provided. And there is Mistral AI LLM, there is chat complete. You can just go ahead and run this. 
this is just to demonstrate you that you can use from llama index and this is the complete call complete with a prompt as you can see here this is the answer and then you can see here okay call chat with the list of messages you said you are a ceo of mr lee i tell me the story about la plate for me yeah it provides the answer and then you can just print it and it will print so i, I think it is little bit slower than open ai's but i don't know you need to try it yourself and now there is also the streaming there is stream complete you can just say here okay this and then you can run this it will stream this is how it works and then also for these things you can stream the message and i can just go here and print this so it will as you can see here, stream means it will it will give it yeah stream like chunks open chunks right you don't need to just steer the whole answer at the same time okay and then you can configure the model as i said before also we have tiny medium small and you can you can just quickly change to model to medium api keys and if i run this now we are using the mistral medium instead of mistral tiny and then i can print this it is it is already printing here and there is also the async being provided if i run this so this is also being supported by llama index you can refer to the llama index documentations for more up to date informations because whatever i show today might not work maybe let's say after some hours or even uh, after some minutes because there are so many updates happening always remember to check the official documentations i hope you know now how to how to go through the mistral ai api uses in the next videos i will be going through google's uh, api uses also and other private gpt kind of things because many of you ask me can you create the videos where i can locally run the models but the downside of that is because you need to have the good hardware uh, and things but I will try to show you one really good, let's say, example. It's already available. I have already created a video earlier for that. Many of you find it useful. The next video, I will first create that where you can run the models locally, let's say, using the Mistral AI's um, model. And yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. You, I hope you learned something new today. See you in the next video.